What's up guys, it's the H2O Bro here again with another video. How to repair this water softener. Here we have an Air 1 code, as you can see there. Uh, it's pretty common on these units when the seal pack dries up and it needs to be uh, re-lubricated or serviced. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is put the unit on bypass, which I already did here. You turn it clockwise all the way until it is flush with the black part here to where you can't turn it anymore. Next, you're gonna wanna unplug your water softener for about a minute or so. All right, after one minute or so, a couple minutes have gone by that you can plug the unit back in. And you're gonna see the error code go away. You take a Phillips screwdriver, take the cover off, You're going to see the cam moving, which is perfectly normal. You might need some help getting it to keep moving. You can hear the binding, you can hear the seal pack is really dry. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to keep, um, how to service it and keep it running smoothly. Alright, now you're in the home position. What you're going to want to do is hold the regen button, which is the very bottom one. So you're going to depressurize the system. This one needs a lot of help. So there you go. You're going to skip through the cycles so that again, you're going to depressurize the system. This one needs a lot of help turning. So I'm going to help it. Next, you're going to press the top left button, keep pressing until you get to the blank screen. Then you're gonna press the top button here on the right side of the board. And then you're gonna push it again. It's gonna cycle. I'll push it again. I'm gonna help this one. And then you're gonna push it one more time until you get to the home screen. At this point, you fully depressurize the system. Your unit's on bypass. Now you can unplug the unit. It's very important that you unplug it once you get to the home position, which is this position here where the cam, the little lip is facing to the right. Now that you unplugged it, you're ready to work on the water softener. So for this job, you only need three tools. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and some channel lock pliers. All right, first, you're gonna remove these switches here. Remove this screw. There you go. Remove this out of the way. Next, you're gonna remove this cam. You're gonna take your flathead. There's a little locking ring in here. You just snap it out of the way like that. And then you pop the cam up. There you go. Next, you're gonna remove this bottom plate right here. There is two screws on each side. Uh, one here and one on the other side. There's the plate. Make sure the screws are loose. There we go. Next, you're going to remove this top screw right here. Okay. Take the screw. Now, this whole plate here can come out. Just wiggle it out. There you go. Remove these two screws that are hanging here. Set them aside, and you can set the plate on top. Move the switches out of the way. Now you can remove this brine piston. 
take your channel locks and remove the brine sleeve, the brine piston sleeve here. Okay. And then next you're going to remove the piston, you're going to grab your channel locks, lock onto them, lock onto the piston shaft here like this. And you're just going to yank really hard and fast. There you go. Now if you want to hold the bucket, that's up to you. Catch a little bit of water, you can pull this piston out. There you go, some water is going to come out. Now, after most of the water has come out, put your bucket down. All right, you grab your piston, grab your rag, clean it all up. All right, next you're gonna, this piston here twists, they're all twist off. So you're gonna grab from each end and you're gonna twist the middle part open like this. This might be a little hard because it's so dry. There you go. Now you remove the piston here from the inside shaft. Now that you have it open, all right. Next, you grab some white lithium grease. You're gonna want to fully saturate this inside shaft here, like this. Put a lot of grease. All right, now, after you've done that, you gotta push the shaft all the way to its furthest most position, like this. You're gonna grab the other half, and you're gonna twist it on. At this point, you can grab some more grease. Uh, grease the outer O-rings here, like this. Again, you can be very liberal with your grease, apply a lot of it. After all the O-rings are greased up, then you can shove the piston back in, like that. You can grab the piston sleeve here, put it back in like that. Apply some grease to these uh, O-rings on the brine piston. Put it back in like that. At this point, you can grab your plate, wiggle it back into position here. You're going to grab the top screw that goes here, right here. Screw it into place. snug like that and you're gonna grab the two screws that go back here I'm going to screw them in not all the way just barely kind of push them in like this and now this plate here it's gonna line up with this part, this part, with this part, and this opening here with the piston. They all should line up perfectly. If you follow my steps, you won't have any problems having this thing line up like this.
All right, let's try it again. Here we go. There we go. Everything's lining up perfectly. Now you can tighten the two bottom screws here. Next, you can tighten this top screw here. All right. Now you're going to grab your cam. As you can see, the little clip, that's the one. That little clip locks onto here. So your cam, if you see on the bottom, it has a groove all around. You're going to want to insert this and make sure that the brine piston goes in that groove. Just like that. Next. Okay, hold on. All right, next, you're gonna grab your C clip here, locking C clip. You're gonna grab your fly head and gently push up until it clips and locks in like that. All right, next, you have your micro switches. It's just going to go one screw there. All right, just like that. Everything is lined up. You can see down here, everything's in its grooves. Now you can, at this point, plug it back in. There we go. And now you can see that the water softener is moving, rotating smoothly. Okay, now your clock is gonna be blinking. Uh, I'm going to attach the link to my other video where it shows you how to set the time. And that's it. Your water softener is good to go. Just take it off bypass, turn it counterclockwise until you feel it loses tension. Right there, then it's fully open. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. I have more informative videos on cooling and equipment. Thanks so much.